Hi guys. A very basic little bit of soldering here. I've got a LiPo battery. I've got a little USB charge controller. I think that's what they're called anyway. TP4056. And I've got a little battery connector. So I'm just going to solder them together. Negative, 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 negative. Positive, 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 positive. And then I'll probably epoxy glue the charger to the back of the battery. And that should do for charging or powering my uh, little toys. Cars, boats, planes, whatever. So we've got something on there. I ought to be using my little helper, I think. trying to do this so you can see it, but that means I can't see it. <laughs> oh dear me. Right, what I haven't done is you're supposed to change one of the resistors on here to match the power or milliamp hours of your battery. So I'll have to look that up and check it. Focus. That's the instructions from eBay. Modify this resistor. The only thing is that's a slightly different diagram. No, it isn't. I think that is the same one. Yeah, that's right. So it's that resistor there that you modify. with that chart. So if we're talking, oh, you're also supposed to do it as a percentage of that, not the exact one. So although this one says 250 there would be a 5 ohm resistor, I've got to go and read it up again to check which one it is. I'm also not sure what resistor's there at the moment. <laughs> I'm going to have to get me magnifying glass out. I'm not sure if the camera is focusing on there, but it does actually say 122 on that resistor. Get me pointer. Right. That resistor there is the one we're trying to look at. The nearest resistor I've got is this a 6.7k? Or is it 6.8k? 6. point something k anyway. Um, so this should be fun. That should slightly underpower it. So we'll knock that resistor off. And see if I can solder accurately enough to get the new one on. off. Just 
one side. This really does make life difficult trying to video it at the same time. That's on. Got my portable charger here. I've also got a charger doctor so we can look at what sort of amps, milliamps, we're putting into the charger. So read that as well as I can. And the little red LED is on indicating that it's charging. It's fully charged. We've now got a little blue LED light and it's gone down to zero milliamps. I've actually left it in the kitchen where we've got um, stone worktops just in case anything dramatic went wrong. But that seems to have gone through absolutely fine. So, I will test it, pull that off there, stick it on the front, that looks fine. When I say that works, job done, that's everything works. So my portable power bank, my charger doctor, my USB lead, my USB charger manager, whatever you call it, and the LiPo battery, and the connectors, and the on-off switch. So I'm quite pleased with that. We can do that anywhere we like now.